service. Will you please state your name and where you live? Uh, John Dwyer. I live at 7 Birchard Avenue in Hoosick Falls, New York. How long have you lived at Hoosick Falls? Uh, all my life. Born, I was born here. I'm 73 years old now. I see. Born in uh, 1926. All right. Before you went into the service, tell us a little about your life in Hoosick Falls. Well, uh, I, uh, like everybody else in the late 30s and uh, early 40s, when uh, 1941, when the war uh, started, uh, everybody was uh, pretty patriotic about, uh, about everything, and uh, that was the main thrust of life back then, uh, at least in my time. Yeah. Uh, I graduated from St. Mary's Academy in 1943, and uh, at 16 or 17 years old, and when I became uh, 18 years old, I enlisted in the Navy. In the Navy? Yeah. All right. And uh, was anybody else enlist with you when you went, or did you go all alone? No, I went all alone. It, it, it just so happened that way. All right. And uh, so when did uh, you enter the Navy in 19... 1944. 1944. All right. And then while you were in the Navy, would you give us a little timeline of what you did in the service? Where did you go? Where did you get your training? And well, I what went did you to do? A, a Samson uh, Naval Base out in, uh, in the middle part of uh, New York State for boot camp, boot training, and uh, then attended uh, uh, gunnery school in Rhode Island and one in uh, Florida. And I was uh, assigned to a, a new aircraft carrier in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. and. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I, we started over. At, what was the name of that book? USS uh, Bonhomme Richard. And uh, it, was a, it was a one of the largest carriers at that time. Yeah. Uh, what was your job on the carrier? Uh, just a seaman uh, at that time. Just a oh. seaman. Gunnery. Gunnery? Uh, gun, gunnery man. And, uh, and then before we got uh, too far, uh, we went through the Panama Canal and and I had the opportunity to switch to a destroyer, which I, I thought I would like better than uh, duty on a, on a carrier. So I switched to, to a destroyer at that time down at, uh, in Panama. I see. And what, what was the name of the destroyer? Uh, USS Baldwin. Yeah. And where'd you go on the destroyer? We went over in the, uh, what they call the Asiatic uh, Pacific Theater, but it was mainly uh, off of the uh, China coast, uh, Formosa, which is Taiwan now, and uh, uh, that was uh, right around the time of the kamikazes. Uh, it was near, not near the end of the war, but uh, the last, probably the last third of the war. And uh, but uh, so it was. Uh, Did you see any uh, battle or anything? No, no battles. Just, just to, I got over on the very, on the very tail end of it when I was, we we saw many many ships being towed away, yeah. uh, leveled from the kamikazes. Uh, that's about the. I see. Uh, and then they shipped, then you came home. Yeah. And where did you get discharged from? Uh, let's see, discharged from, uh, well, let's see, that's out of Long Island, a base in Long Island. Oh, a base yeah. in Long Island. Yeah. When was that, Jack? Uh, 1946. 1946. Yeah. All right, and then what did you do when you got discharged? Well, I come home and, uh, of course, everybody, then we had the GI Bill and I was going to go to college and uh, do uh, many, many things. But uh, uh, I had gotten married just before I went in the service and uh, so then we, we started having a family and so that kind of cleared college. And just I worked locally uh, for the Woodflown Corporation. and. Yeah. Uh, so How many children did you have? Five. Five, five sons. children. Yeah, five sons. And who'd you marry in Hoosick Falls? Uh, Eileen uh, Bagardis. Eileen yeah, Bagardis. Yeah, and she was a native of Hoosick Falls. I also. see. So, and then, now I know you were active in the village government recently. Yeah, yeah I served uh, as a village trustee uh, for about almost 10 years and just recently resigned. Well, so. is there anything else you'd like to say that we're going to keep these tapes here at the museum for, <laughs> for many years? Uh, like to talk about Hoosick Falls? Or? Well, Hoosick Falls, I, I feel I feel bad, uh, like a lot of people, that uh, uh, small air, small towns uh, can't remain like they uh, used to be, but with the uh, advent of the malls and so forth, it, it just it just hurts small small places, and it's an awful battle to to keep things on an even keel. It's many in the small places now, right? Uh, but that's, that's the way it is all over the country. Well, Jack, I thank you. Now we got the permanent record. We know you're in the Navy. Yeah. You're on an aircraft carrier, you're on a destroyer. Yeah, yeah. And 
came back and li and you've lived in Hoosick Falls all your life. Right. Well, so thank, well thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Well, we thank you for coming. Thank you very much.